But right now, our friend Ken DeCoster is here from Crime Stoppers and the Sheriff's Office. How are you? Riley, I'm doing great. How are you? I have nothing to complain about other than, you know, it's a little chilly. But we're warm in here. Mm -hmm. All right, you brought police stuff with you. I did, and I do want to start off on a uh, an upbeat note for a change. I, I want to thank um, everybody who took part in Shop with the Cop and filled the bus this past Saturday. I saw your tweets. There were some uh, great photos. Thank you. And I know you retweeted them, and I appreciate that, Riley. Um, Target and Meyer up in Machesty Park were extremely generous uh, with the gift cards that they provided free of charge, and the sheriff's office raised some money as well. So there were a lot of happy children and, frankly, a lot of happy police officers who were um, shopping with the kids, shopping for gifts. It was it was a, a wonderful kind of a heartwarming event. Absolutely. And like I said, the photos that you put up were, were, were just great. The kids and the cops hanging out together. Uh, it looked like everybody had a good time. So kudos to everybody who helped make that possible. And what's funny is seeing uh, a, a lot of the police officers day in and day out, you know, a lot of grizzled veterans sure. and and then you you pair them with kids shopping with christmas gifts and you see t this big teddy bear come smiles out smiles and, and big teddy it's, it truly uh was uh, was a blessing to watch this unfold well maybe if you shop with them more often ken you'd get along better <laughs> just a suggestion thank you Riley. shop with ken uh, always looking out for me i'm trying to help yes. where i can <laughs> <laughs> Now I lost my train of thought. Sorry about Damn, that. I, yeah, that's my fault there. Um, from the stupid criminal category, this um, past Sunday night, four teenagers were arrested after police said the group rammed a stolen Jeep into a Rockford police squad car. Police say during the investigation, they found another stolen vehicle possibly linked to the same suspects as well. Around 6 p.m. this past Sunday, Riley, officers spotted the Jeep, which was stolen the day before, at the Wendy's on East State Street, just east of downtown in Rockford. Officers say the driver tried to speed off when police approached the vehicle. Then he put the uh, vehicle in reverse, slamming into the officer's squad car, causing extensive damage. Officers arrested the four people in the car, including Santeria Childress, 19 years old, of Dallas, Texas, Three young men were also arrested, three boys actually. Two are 15 years old, the other is 17. Childress is charged with criminal trespass. The three juvies are charged with possession of a stolen automobile. One 15 year old also faces charges of reckless driving and hit and run. Uh, during wow. the investigation, officers found a Saturn SUV near Cat uh, Canterbury Lane and uh, Idlewood Terrace. It was uh, reported stolen on Saturday. Police are investigating if the two incidents are linked. Yeah, there you go. Uh, so much for the criminal masterminds there. Um, yeah, the, the plowing into the squad car. Yeah, everything should go away after that. You should be fine. And then police put this out yesterday, Riley, following several weekend reports of stolen vehicles. The Rockford Police Department would like to remind the public of the dangers of leaving vehicles running unattended. During the winter months, motorists tend to start their cars and leave them running unattended outside the residence, most of the time with the keys in the ignition. Rockford police have already this week had reports of vehicles stolen early in the morning while warming. Criminals have been known to travel through neighborhoods early in the morning looking for vehicles to steal. Many times, these stolen vehicles are then used to commit other crimes or are damaged. The Rockford Police Department advises, advises it is illegal to leave a vehicle unattended in the street. Citations will be issued for the violation. Additionally, some insurance companies may not cover the loss of a vehicle if it was left running unattended. Citizens who choose to warm their cars should use an ignition override device or other theft deterrent devices and always lock vehicle doors. Remote starters in a lot of cases, you can fire them up from inside the house. It'll, it'll start the car up. It keeps it locked. Mm -hmm. Even if it were unlocked, somebody gets in, it's running, but you can't do anything with it because then you need the key to make everything else work. All that's happening is you're getting some heat and all that running through. So, right. And remote starters are, are remarkably affordable. Yes, they are. Uh, yeah, you're not going to spend. I don't have all. one. Do you have one? Yeah, mine. Mine mm -hmm. came with one. We had one put on Spencer's car. Nice. Uh, when we had him parking outside, and it's just a nice thing. You press the button from the kitchen, and off you go, and you're mm -hmm. ready to hop in and, and go, and nobody can do anything with it. And Riley, you know, to to those who say, "Oh, come on, police, don't you have better things to do?" Yes, they do, and that's why this 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 warning, while it sounds a bit heavy handed, is for the best. You know, just don't leave your vehicle 
running and unattended. And for anybody they go, no cops have a better anything better to do, this leads to other things that then they'll right. have to do. Exactly. And when right. you're talking about someone stealing your car and then using it for crimes, that ends up being a big problem for the police. So they're trying to be proactive and help you at the same time. So and stop you, your whining and don't and don't do that. <laughs> and you you don't want to 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 be you know, hassling with the insurance company, them say, well, you left the car, uh, the key and the ignition un unattended. You don't want to be going back and forth with your, with your insurance company. No, no, you don't. This is from uh, Channel 17, a really kind of a, a, a frightening report uh, that was put out yesterday. Rockford paramedics were rushed to an address on East State Street on Monday for a report of a man overdosing on heroin. Despite their best efforts, paramedics on scene told Eyewitness News uh, the the man who was overdosing, his prognosis was not good. It was a scene that has become too common in the state line and across the country. Uh, the Center for Disease Control released data explaining that in 2015, heroin overdose deaths surpassed gun homicides as a cause of death for the first time ever. Winnebago County Coroner Bill Hintz says he wasn't surprised. And Hintz is quoted by Channel 17 as saying, over the last several years here in our county alone, our heroin deaths have outnumbered our homicide numbers. Uh, Hintz told Eyewitness News that there have been 44 heroin-related deaths this year compared to 17 homicides by shooting or stabbing in the county. Hintz believes one reason is because heroin is so cheap. The drugs are inexpensive. The heroin is very inexpensive to be able to get. We've got teenagers all the way up to individuals that are 70 and 80 years of age that have heroin in their system. The executive director of Hope Over Addiction, Tammy Wardman, agrees. Quote, the truth is they are parents, they are children, they are our children, they are members of the community, they are professionals that have uh, opioid, uh, opioid addictions. And she says, personally, she's been affected by the heroin epidemic, losing her son, Chris, to an overdose. And she believes the next step is breaking the stigma of addiction. Quote, some people will go, will not go for treatment because they are ashamed. They are embarrassed. Family members are ashamed and embarrassed. So we have to end the stigma and talk about it. Yeah, I remember seeing, uh, you mentioned uh, Mr. Hitz, a uh, Kurt Corner. I, I remember seeing an interview with Sue Fiducia. She was outgoing, and then that was, the, she was talking about, you know, things over the years and, and regrets and, and, and things you wish were different. Heroin was one of the things that she had brought up, the, right. the, the prevalence of it in the community, the, 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 the absolute devastation that it, that's wrought in here, the hearts that have been broken, lives that have been changed. It, it's a bad scene. Riley, it, it, it is, and I'm glad that you brought up Sue Fiducia, the retired Winnebago County coroner, because she has been sounding the alarm locally about heroin abuse uh, for, gosh, for a decade. Yep. And with that type of drug, um, you never know what other junk the the dealers are... are cutting it with. Cutting it with. Thank yeah. you. Um and people, some people who are so desperate don't pay attention to that. They just want their next high. And you're finding drain cleaner in them. You're finding baby laxatives. You're finding all sorts of things you put in there to make a little go a lot longer. Exactly right. So just something to keep in mind. Yes. Uh, the following four people are on this week's Crime Stoppers uh, Most Wanted Suspects uh, list, Riley. Michael Tapia is a white man. He's 26 years old. He's 6'6", 230 pounds. He is wanted for a weapons violation. Ricky Woods is a 21-year-old black man. He is 5'9", 120 pounds. He is wanted for domestic battery. Kayla Olson is a 27-year-old white woman. She's 5'5", 115 pounds. She is wanted for filing a false police report. And finally, 43-year-old Russell Spencer Jr. is a white man. He is 5'11", 230 pounds. He is wanted for a weapons violation. If you know the whereabouts of any of the uh, suspects you've just heard about, give us a call at Rockford Crime Stoppers at 815-963-7867, or you can call us toll-free at 888-769-STOP. Just briefly, before we take the break, I'd like to reiterate for you know anybody new who isn't uh, totally familiar with how the Crime Stoppers thing works, uh, you call, you, you give some information. It turns out to be a, a valuable piece of information. Now, the way I understand it, and, and, and correct me because this is your program, you ever signed a control number? Yes. Is that correct? Yes, we uh, we assign each person who calls us and gives us a piece of information, a, uh, a Crime Stoppers ID number. That is how we identify them with the information they provide. 
Uh, some instances, it's 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 an easy um, it's an easy case. Hey, I know where so and so who's wanted for hit and run is. He's at this location right now. We'll confirm the warrant. We'll send police over there, and uh, in some cases, they're able to pick them up. The problem is, Riley, if if the person wanted on a warrant is in a private residence, police can knock on the door. But that person, if he or she is alone, uh, or even with a uh, a friend or a relative, uh, there is uh, chances are that uh, they won't open the door because the, they don't want a, the, the police to uh, to be allowed in, and police don't have a search warrant to enter the uh, residence without people opening the door. Some people um, are, are cooperative and they will open the door, allow police in, and. Uh, Police will conduct the search and sometimes find uh, the person wanted on a warrant uh, inside the residence. But other times, people call up with, I think that there is drug activity going on at the residence across the street or down the street. I see uh, short-term traffic uh, stopping at the house. Uh, somebody will go in, stay for five minutes, come out, or the person inside will come out, uh, lean in the vehicle, and there appears to be money exchanged, etc. So do any... Tip uh, is forwarded to Rockford Police, Winnebago County Sheriff's Police. Any tip is uh, is looked into, and uh, we appreciate uh, any information we get from the public. Yeah, don't hesitate. Help out. That's how you make the community a better place. Ken, it's always good to see you. Riley, thank you so much for your time.